Paris, AP, a soft voice from the loudspeaker reminds the restless crowd, Shh, shh. The whistle blows. Suddenly, spectators fall silent and even the slightest noise echoes through the Eiffel Tower Stadium. Fans pack the stadium, but at times, it is hard to tell. This type of ambience is unthinkable in most sports venues, but especially in a sport like soccer, whose fans are perhaps best known for rowdiness. But this isn't ordinary soccer. This is blind football, one of two silent sports at the 2024 Paris Paralympic Games. Blind football and goalball are for athletes with visual impairments. When sensory input is reduced in one area, other senses pick up the slack, without sight, sound takes center stage. The ball in both sports contains a rattle or bell alerting players to its approximate location. Players yell out to each other as they navigate the field and fans are required to contain their excitement until the ball is out of play. Both sports cultivate an environment unlike any other. Without constant chatter and chanting, fans' energy manifests as a steady focus on the field of play. Jefferson Jefinho Gonçalves, Brazil's star blind football player, said through a translator that he and his teammates felt the crowd is also into the game and reacting to every moment, and that they felt the energy on the court. French fan Jade Sidot, 18, said blind football demands a different degree of attention. My dad and I go to some football games, said Sidot, referring to her experiences at able-bodied games. Blind football, is very different, but at the same time I am more focused. Fans not used to these sports may feel awkward navigating the new rules. To ease the tension, a goalball commentator lets fans know they are allowed to speak, noise. A bit apprehensive at first, the crowd slowly increases their volume to cheer. During halftime and between important plays, a runner takes the blind football field with a large sign that explicitly reads Get Loud. Usually, cues like this build momentum among spectators who are already cheering. Here, they're truly instructions. Even with the official go-ahead, some new fans let their patriotism override decorum while others sit confused. It's kind of funny because I think people in the stands are afraid, they don't know when to cheer, but I know the game, said Eliana Mason, a Paralympic goalball player who frequently supports her fiancé, fellow Paralympian and goalball player Callahan Young, at his matches. It's silent, I'll be like, let's go. People look at me and I'm like, it's fine, I know when I can cheer and not cheer. In those moments when cheering is allowed, it is thunderous. Spectators from the Netherlands agree that when it happens, the applause is much louder than in non-silent sports. I have the idea that you are with them in the game when they score, said Dutch fan Jamie Kudijs, 23, who never attended a silent sporting event before today.